Hello, fellow Gritizens. Do you believe in your ability to navigate life's obstacles, but you're not always sure where to start? Well, lend us your ear, because here on our Grow My Grit podcast, we gather strength and inspiration from real people navigating real obstacles in real time with grit. My name is Peter Willis, coming in from Calgary, Alberta, together with our gritty guru, Hayes Shetmeyer, who is beaming in from Mississauga, Ontario. Here on the Grow My Grit podcast, our intention is to engage with guests and listeners who are ready to know, grow, and show their grit, perhaps best described as one's default settings in the face of obstacles, and what obstacles we faced since the beginning of 2020. However, one of the biggest opportunities available to us all is the possibility of recreating our identities and re-engaging our relationship to both ourselves and to one another using the unique strengths we already possess and reliably bring to challenging situations. With our individual grit compass as our guide, let's explore what's available on the other side of obstacles. Are you ready? Hello, fellow Gritisons. My name is Peter Willis, coming in from Calgary, Alberta. And for the first time, I'm not coming in together with gritty guru Hayes Jetmeyer. Uh, as you can probably hear in my voice, uh, <laughs> it's about an octave deeper than it normally is. <laughs> That's not a microphone effect. Uh, it's because... Uh, <laughs> um, I'm under the weather recording this. Um, this is a, uh, a solo episode and really it is an opportunity for me to, uh, thank Hayes, thank Niall, thank all of the guests we've had for everything that we've kind of worked on in the last year and a half doing, uh, grow my grit. What started off as a contribution to Hayes's wonderful book. Um, which led to helping out with the uh, theme song that you hear at the beginning of the show and the outro, uh, which ultimately led to helping um, co-host the podcast. It has been a wonderful journey. Um, and really, it's um, uh, time to use one of uh, Hayes's grit words uh, to begin something new um, and to um, uh, to feel when it's time to move on to something, um, to something that's calling. That's very important to me. It's something that I've learned over the last year and a half is to honor these types of feelings. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. I, I guess really the most, um, important thing I just wanted to say in these five minutes here is the, uh, I think the greatest part of doing, um, the podcast, um, was learning from other people's grit words. I, I knew what mine were. I, you know, the context was always, it was always interesting to hear it in context or a different context, but hearing other people's grit words was always very, um, it was always very interesting for me. The one that is going to stick the most, uh, for sure. And there are lots, but the one that kind of has this common thread is, uh, Hayes's T word, uh, which is time. There's so many, um, so many aspects of that word. I'll just kind of touch on a few of them right now, really. Um, and I think one of them is to challenge any beliefs, uh, that I had about waiting until the time is right to pursue something. Um, that's, that's important. Waiting until the time is right does not always serve the process well. Sometimes you just have to start. And I know that's on one of our episodes. Absolutely. You have to start somewhere and not spending all of your time waiting for the right moment. Time, communication. This is an interesting one that I've been um, dealing with quite a lot over the last few years. And it's really uh, communication, whether it's uh, ghosting, uh, to use, I guess, the more modern term, or uh, delaying response, all that type of thing really what this does is it, it's a disrespect of time um, amongst other things. But if we stop ghosting, if we stop delaying, it gives us time back. And most importantly, it respects others time so that they can move forward 
uh, with whatever it is they're waiting on on you for. Um, it's a it's a win win when we're using time advantageously and communicating effectively. It allows everyone uh, to move forward. Um, for those that are conflict shy, um, this is a a huge one because often it's the fear of conflict that really um, facilitates <laughs> delay uh, in responding and delay in reacting uh, and delay in moving forward. So time and communication are connected there on along the same lines is using your time in communicating and spending your time with people you love and doing as many things uh, that you enjoy as possible. Hayes, old friends reconnected. Um, that's been fantastic for me. Communicate and spend your time with people you love. That's been something that's been definitely a, it's a common theme through the last year and a half is <laughs> spending your time wisely. It's a cliche for sure, but living it um, firsthand or experiencing it firsthand and really starting to feel when I am doing that properly and when I'm not has been, uh, I'm grateful for, <laughs> for, uh, for those experiences and that, that new knowledge in the last few years. Time, slow down be patient um for someone who um uh, for anyone out there who seems to have kind of thought monkeys or uh um really is kind of hi hyperactive upstairs um uh, which is definitely me i've really been trying to embrace the slowing down maybe it's just a natural byproduct of getting older although i don't think so it still takes a lot of effort to slow down uh, that's not my default but learning how to slow down learning how to be patient uh, the analogy that we that i've been using with Hayes has been learn how to be an oil tanker uh, instead of a speedboat and i think that's um it's so true and i'm so grateful for uh for Hayes's wisdom um there's so much to unpack in that one but be comfortable being a large ship as opposed to a speedboat for there's so many reasons um but slow down be patient um and em embrace the journey the other big learning which isn't related to time would be you know getting comfortable asking for help asking for assistance getting a coach a, a life coach a health coach a diet coach any kind of coach if you feel that's a <laughs> if you feel that's something that you're interested in that's it's something that has really dawned on me in the last year um when i think back to well I, if i start now with some of the things that i'm struggling with if i think back to the times when i was younger and i was most successful it was um there were mentors involved there were coaches involved I responded personally, I really responded to coaches in a sports environment, not mentors in a music environment. Uh, that's something that I haven't had in my life for a very long time. And when I look back on the times when I was either, if not happiest, when I look back on the times in my life when I was pursuing with vigor the things that I loved, they were all done with the assistance of others, with a coach, with a mentor. And it feels really good to acknowledge that even as someone who's mid forties, it's okay. That's applicable. That's okay. I, I can go and get, <laughs> if that's how I respond, if that's how I, uh, I need to pursue the things that I want in life. And sometimes I just need a bit of help with the direction or the execution of it. And asking for help getting a coach or a mentor is so important um, to some people this is going to be um, natural uh, to others it won't be it wasn't for me and to understand that that is an important part of my journey going forward is uh, so helpful definitely i guess really to finish off i just you know i wanted to uh thank all of our guests uh, for the insight they've provided, connecting with old friends, meeting some new connections. I have really, really enjoyed it. Hayes, thank you for allowing me to come on this journey with you. I love you. It's been fantastic. And 
uh, whether it's yoga classes online or writing uh, theme songs or contributing to uh, anything towards your grit methodology. It's been a fantastic journey and I look forward to uh, continuing, albeit in a different form. Niall, my old friend, thank you. Um, I love you too. And so thank you both. Uh, thank you to all of our guests. Uh, it's been absolutely wonderful um, to be on uh, this journey the last uh, few years. It's been very, very meaningful to me and very helpful uh, to me in so many ways. So I guess I'd just say that with our grit compass as our guide, let's go explore what's on the other side of obstacles and stay ready. Grow My Grit with your hosts, Hayes Shetmeyer and Peter Willis is a production of Gritty Guru Company. Technical production by Niall Fines. Music by Peter Willis. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcast, Google, and Spotify. For more information about Hayes' book, Know, Grow, and Show Your Grit, Self-Discovery Made Simple, please visit growmygrit.com. 